Once upon a time, while driving, a kind person noticed an old man stuck by the roadside. It was getting dark, but he could see that he needed help. The person parked his old car in front of the old man's fancy Bentley and got out and approached him. The old man felt worried, even though the person had a friendly smile. No one had stopped to assist him for a while, and he wondered if this person might harm him. He didn't look wealthy. He seemed hungry and in need. Feeling cold and scared, he hesitated. The person said, I'm here to help you, sir. Why don't you wait in the car where it's warm? By the way, my name is Alex. The old man had a flat tire, which was difficult for an older person to handle. Alex went under the car, looking for a spot to place the jack, and unfortunately scraped his hands in the process. Eventually, he managed to change the tire, but his hands were dirty and sore. As Alex tightened the lug nuts, the old man started talking to him. He mentioned he was from Houston and just passing through. He couldn't thank him enough for coming to his rescue. The old man asked how much he owed him, willing to pay any amount. He imagined all the terrible things that could have happened if he had not stopped to help. Alex never thought about being paid. Helping others was not a job for him. It was simply his way of aiding those in need. He had received help in the past and he lived his life with kindness and selflessness. Alex told him that if he truly wanted to repay him, he could help the next person in need that he came across and think of him. Once the man started his car and drove away, Alex felt good as he headed home, disappearing into the evening. Despite the cold and gloomy day, his heart was warm. A few miles down the road, the man spotted a small cafe and decided to stop for a meal before completing his journey home. It was a place he had never visited before. The waitress, Emily, approached him with a friendly smile, even though she was heavily pregnant and tired from being on her feet all day. The old man wondered how someone with so little could be so kind to a stranger. Then he remembered Alex. After finishing his meal, the old man paid with a hundred dollar bill. Emily rushed to get change, but discovered that the man had already left. Puzzled, Emily wondered where he had gone. As she cleared the table, she noticed a note written on the napkin. Tears welled up in Emily's eyes as she read what the old man had written. You don't owe me anything. I've been in your shoes before. Someone once helped me just like I'm helping you. If you truly want to repay me, here's what you do. Don't let this chain of love end with you. Underneath the napkin were four more $100 bills. That night, as she climbed into bed after work, she thought about the money and the old man's words. How could the man have known how much she and her husband needed it? With the baby due next month, things were going to be difficult. Emily's husband was worried, and as he slept beside her, she softly kissed him and whispered, Everything's going to be all right. I love you, Alex. Friends, this heartwarming story reminds us that acts of kindness can circle back to us when we least expect it. This story teaches us a valuable lesson. The power of kindness knows no bounds. Our actions, no matter how small, have the potential to create a ripple effect that can touch the lives of countless others. It is a reminder that we are all interconnected and our acts of kindness can create a chain of love that spreads far beyond our initial encounter. Don't underestimate the profound impact your actions can have on others. Your small act of compassion can change someone's life, ignite hope in their hearts, and inspire them to do the same for others. Friends, remember, what goes around truly does come around. Let us strive to make that cycle one of love, compassion, and generosity. Together, let us keep the flame of kindness burning bright, knowing that it will eventually return to warm our own hearts when we least expect it.